the Henry II Stakes is next. This is a long distance group three, over two miles. And let's take a look at the runners. Lakeland Highlands for Darren Thompson's at the top. Reno Response, Vinnie Gerard, Archduke Ferdinand, Graham Clutterbuck has also got Baltic October, King at Night, and Secret Plans for Leon Van Rensburg. So I told you, and Charming Princess David Hooley, Fausong Lenore for David Robertson, Hidden Stance, Craig Allen, Nine Lives, Joshua Sutherland, and Wheel of Fortune for Craig Beckwith. So 12 of them then, and not expecting to see anything quite as impressive as we saw in that long distance race yesterday from Paul Rhodes' horse. They're away and racing. This is a full half a mile shorter today, or well, five furlongs actually shorter. So whether any of these will step up to the Gold Cup next week or not remains to be seen. I dare say if they're low enough in the weights, they'll go in the handicap. But it's Fausson Lenore, the grey, who's the first one to show, the first of three greys. The other two are, are Charming Princess for David Hooley and the Graham Clutterbuck horse Arch Duke Ferdinand. So it's Fausson Lenore then, who's in the lead from Baltic October in second. Archduke Ferdinand closest to us is third, so I told you right over on the far rail is fourth. Wheel of Fortune is close up, so is Reno Response, and then Secret Plans. Lakeland Highlands is after that one. Nine Lives is the one that's coming wide round the track, and Hidden Stance and King at Night are just the back two at the moment. They're through the first half mile then, and Faust on Lenore is clear by four to Baltic October in second, and Archduke Ferdinand third. Graham Clutterbuck strong handed in these long distance races. Well, Good stable full of stairs, but it's Faust on Lenore at the moment who's clear by four lengths or so to Baltic October in second. Archduke Ferdinand is third. Then so I told you in Wheel of Fortune, secret plans after that, then Lakeland Highlands and Reno response. Hidden stance is in a row of four at the back with King Knight, Nine Lives and Charming Princess that are at the back of the field. But it's Faust on Lenore who is the leader by three lengths to Baltic October who's in second. So I told you nicely placed on the outside of that one is in third. Then comes Archduke Ferdinand is a little bit wider on the track. Secret plans is going to try and come between them. And Nine Lives is still widest on the track, but plenty close enough, if good enough, towards the back. Lakeland Highlands is just the back marker, but into the final mile and Faust on Lenore clear by five now to Archduke Ferdinand, who's moved into second. Baltic October just being given a bit of a breather, joined by So I Told You. Nine Lives coming through on the outside, secret plans there. Lakeland Highlands is making a nice manoeuvre through the pack and has got a good split. Chasing that one is King at Night. But it's still Faust on Lenore, who's in the lead by five. They're in a bit of a heat behind with Lakeland Highlands now coming through to take second place. But it's Faust on Lenore who's still well clear as they race down the back part of the track. Soon they'll be swinging round towards home. But it's Faust on Lenore with five furlongs to go. Leads by three lengths to Lakeland Highlands in second. Nine lives is now getting more into the inside and he's in third. Then comes So I Told You King at Night Secret Plans. Bulky October's lost his place. So too's Arch. Archduke Ferdinand, Hidden Stance is trying to run on, Wheel of Fortune is dropping towards the back, Reno Response is trying to get going, Charming Princess looks beaten, it's Faust on Lenore in the lead from So I Told You in second, then Lakeland Highlands, Nine Lives and King at Night, Secret Plans after that one, but they've still got to get to this Faust on Lenore, there's only two and a half furlongs to go, and he's kicking on again in the lead, two lengths clear of So I Told You in second, Lakeland Highlands is in third, then King at Night and Nine Lives and Secret Plans, but Faust on Lenore is not stopping at this point, there's still a furlong and a half to go, but Faust on Lenore is still too clear. So I told you he's in second. Nothing's coming out of the pack to challenge him. Faust on Lenore into the final furlong. Still going well. Jockey looks comfortable in the lead. He's not resorting to the whip. He's just using hands and heels. He's pushing this one out nicely. So I told you he's trying to chase, but Faust on Lenore, pillar to post, wins it from So I told you Lakeland Highlands King at night. Nine lives bolting was after that one. Archduke Ferdinand dropped right out of it. And a pretty impressive performance by David Robertson's Faust on Lenore on pillar to post. And I suppose now he's going to figure out what to do with it next week. Will it stay extra half a mile? Didn't look like it was stopping to me. But what's he going to do against that poor road source? It's going to be interesting at Royal Ascot next week. But Faust on Lenore, all the way winner for David Robertson. So I told you for David Hooley, second. Lakeland Highlands, Darren Thompson, third. King at Night, Leon Van Rensburg, fourth. And nine lives for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.